hello guys welcome back to my channel so great to see you here on another video today's video i'm going to be walking around with you um in my uncompleted house in ghana so this footage was filmed back in february for me after i had some works done um to both the external and internal parts of the house um i.e this flower bed um got added around the outside um you know for plans mm. of when we start beautifying the exterior you know the frontage of the house you know for when people obviously approach the house to have something lovely to look at coming through the gate if you look to your right um we have now started plans to build an outhouse which will be going in this section right here I was very conscious about the length of time of this video um, which is originally over 20 minutes long so just speeding it up a little bit here um, as we walk around the outside of the house so this section right here um, originally was supposed to be the carport but we changed our mind and we're going to be using it as a seating area you know for outdoor dining here you see an area that I have allocated to grow some produce in um, my mini garden which is located at the back of the house. Here the scaffolding is up ready for the installation of the water tank. Here a friend has marked out their suggestion for um, the landscaping which is at the side of the house however we have drawn up our own plans and um, we're planning on having a pull down this side right here um, which should hopefully start um, next year summer. Here you see the poly tank um, ready for installation um, you saw the scaffolding at the back of the house which is being set up. So this video was recorded also mainly to show me the tile works that um, had just been completed. Um, there's still a bit more to do inside, like with, within the bathrooms. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was just to show me the, you know, the work that had been done with the tiles. You see these um, dark lines that are going um, around the base of the walls, both on the house and the um, fence wall as well um, this was just to prevent help prevent some damp um, before we started priming the walls um, ready for painting so now we're entering the um, front door inside the house We are now entering the main living room um, situated downstairs. So as you walk in through the front door, it's directly ahead of you. Standing in the living room, you're able to see the upstairs um, as the design has been done in a mezzanine style. We are now coming into one of the bedrooms downstairs. So there's two bedrooms located downstairs and this is one of them. It has been built as a master and it mirrors the bedroom that's directly above it as well. Mm -hmm. 
upstairs. This is the ensuite bathroom, um, which I've chosen not to tile the whole bathroom. Um, basically, just having the tile in a U shape um, where the shower area is going to go. This is the bit I was saying, it's a bit tall, taller. Here, they were just explaining to me um, they thought the height was a bit too tall for me, um, but since visiting, um, it's actually okay. The rest of the bathroom now needs to be replastered, ready for when we do the Andrew work. So walking back through the living room, um, we now are going into the second bedroom located on the ground floor. It's the upper bedroom. All the bedrooms have um, their own bathrooms, so all are en suite. Um, so nobody needs to share a bathroom or washroom. In this bathroom, we um, had There's run out of the towels that we had chosen, so basically need to go back to the shops to find um, towels that would be happy to have in this bathroom. Here on the left, we have a guest toilet, this washroom for visitors to use. As as possible, we'll make sure Again, right. tiles had run out, so we There's basically just need to um, find some tiles to use in this bathroom. Apologies, I mean washroom. Also located on the ground floor here, we have the storeroom, which is adjacent to the kitchen. Here we are now entering the kitchen. the kitchen. Um so the last thing that was done in here was the tile work. Um and this is just to show me what still needs to be done in there. I did ask for no tiling to be done on the walls um, as I'm still coming up for the design of the kitchen. I know this might sound a bit harsh, but I just didn't want them to, um, you know, tile um, or put up a design that I know I wouldn't be happy with. So I've just asked for um, nobody to touch the kitchen. I was just willing to get the flooring done. So just, you know, going to finalize my designs before I get them to carry on with the kitchen. Okay, now, so we've come back through the living room. Um, we're now going to be going upstairs. So just this is just under the stairs. Um, we've got some cupboard space for storage as well.
Okay, so top of the stairs to the left here, we have the man cave. So <laughs> hubby um, obviously wanted to have a place he could call his own, his own space for him and his boys. Um, and he's coming up with the designs of how he wants this one set up. Um, yes, yeah, so after the difficulties of all the POP, this is um, what the design we chose from the guy who stepped in to say that he was going to complete the master's work. And then on the right hand side, as you come up the stairs, you've got the first bedroom upstairs. So there's three bedrooms located upstairs, making it a five bedroom um, house. This space here is going to be for a built-in wardrobe. So this is one of the kids' rooms. So we're going to have a built-in wardrobe in that section right there. And then this is the ensuite bathroom. So I don't know if you noticed, but these tiles are different to the ones that you saw downstairs in the master. Because you know miscalculation um, of the square footage that we needed for the tiles and the tiles have been done in an L shape in this one so the rest of the bathroom will get re like plastered properly ready for the Andri missed out um, one of the bedrooms um, the guest toilet and an area where we're going to be setting up as a library and study room um, but don't worry I will be showing it to you in subsequent videos here you get an overview from upstairs looking down into the living room isn't this a great view whenever I stand up here and look down I'm just like this is my house just brings a big smile on my face whenever I you know I see this So you see like the completion of the POP as well. Um, ne next video I, I put out, we'll be showing you, um, you know, the POP work. And then when the lights also got installed, it was just the best feeling ever. So now this is the master bedroom upstairs. Um, as I explained previously, there are two masters. So I will be staying in this one until I become an old woman and then I'll move to the one downstairs when I can't manage the stairs. Isn't it great to have choice? So we're now um, entering the ensuite bathroom for the bedroom. Same design as downstairs. And again, just need to make sure the walls are plastered properly, um, you know, ready to be andreed. The main reason why the walls in here did not get plastered was because the assumption was, was made that the whole room, bathroom was going to be tiled. Um, but obviously I only wanted part part of it to just where the shower areas were going to be and then the rest will be painted with some waterproof paint it's just correct size so through this door through from the master bedroom upstairs you come onto a balcony um, which overlooks the front of the house. It's 
it's just great standing up here just looking over um you know over the balcony just looking outside and just listening to the different sounds that come from outside you know just sit there sit you know sipping on a cold drink or in the mornings having a lovely cup of tea or coffee if that's your thing So the other end of the balcony you've got these glass doors that take you back inside um, to the other side of the house so we've got a, um, a mini living room upstairs and mainly for the family to be using downstairs is going to be mainly for guests and upstairs mainly for the family Again, you get a view, like just a nice overview from upstairs looking down and across to the other rooms as well. Still got so much work to do, but, you know, there's progress and, and that's all I can say. We just keep moving forward. So this door leads to another balcony upstairs. Um, so this balcony is located next to the the man cave as I mentioned earlier and this just gives you another view um, on the other side of the house thank you so much guys for sticking to this point in the video I really appreciate you if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button remember to like the video and comment down below until the next one have a blessed day bye mm -hmm.